Having a mentor to guide you along your career is something we all search for. So what happens when you have one of the biggest names in the tennis world stepping in and personally looking after your tennis career? Well, that's what happened to 19-year-old Hamad Majedovic, who's had a lot of help from arguably the best tennis player. In this video, we'll show you the wonderful mentorship between Hamad Majedovic and Novak Djokovic. So, how does the former number one tennis player help Hamad? Hamad is considered a rising star in Serbia, as at age 19, he's already won his first ATP Challenger Tour title. ATP Challenger is basically one grade below the ATP World Tour. This win has not only earned him a place in the world rankings, but it's also made him eligible to play in ATP World Tournaments. Currently, he's ranked 259th in the single ranking, which is the highest he's gotten in his career yet. After beating China's Xi Zhenjiang in the final of the Platzman Sauerland Open, Hamad got his first ATP Challenger title at the age of 18, and he beat him in just 49 minutes. Not only is his talent and hard work that led him to his point, it's also due to the support he got from none other than Novak Djokovic. How did Majedovic earn such a big favor? Well, he's been training at the tennis center that Novak owns for quite some time. The young Serb has been a prized student at the Novak Tennis Center located in Belgrade. Because of his passion and drive towards the sport, Djokovic gained a special interest in him. Hamad's father has revealed in a recent interview just how many ways Djokovic helped his son throughout his 2021 tour. Not only did Djokovic provide him with motivation, but he basically paid for everything that Hamad needed to boost his career. Hamad's father explained that the tennis legend took care of everything. He paid for Hamad's professional coaches, plane tickets, hotel bookings, trainers, and even for his massages. This is one lucky 19-year-old. With such a big financial burden off his shoulders, Hamad cruises to his four professional title wins. The young tennis player has nothing but gratitude for for Djokovic for pushing him to be the best. To have his support means the world to him. As it's quite clear from Ahmad's Instagram, he frequently shares pictures of him and Novak, offering him advice on the tennis court. He shares Djokovic's wins as if they are his own wins and seems to be his biggest fan. The two share such a heartwarming bond. But why does Novak Djokovic personally mentor this young tennis player? In an interview, Majedovic expressed his admiration for his mentor. He shared with the reporters that even while Novak was in his fourth round at Wimbledon, he personally messaged the young 19-year-old to congratulate him for winning his first challenger title. Apparently, he sent a minute-long voice note to him and even asked him to train with them later. So why does the 21-time Grand Slam winner offer so much help to Ahmad? Well, his father revealed the conversation he had with him about Hamad's future. And in it, it's clear that the tennis legend wants Ahmad to be the next big player for their country. We're not saying he's picking favorites, but he definitely sees something in him and wants to bring it out. He explained to his father that he's not not doing this to earn money, as he earns his money from his own career. He simply wants to help children who deserve it. Knowing how difficult the economic situation in Serbia is, and how expensive a sport tennis is, he wanted to make sure that Hamad was not being disadvantaged because of his circumstances. The star also assured the kid's father that one day when Hamad reaches that point in his career, he'd help another child fulfill his dreams in tennis, just like he is. And now, how does Majedovic show his gratitude towards his idol? As mentioned earlier, Majedovic is a huge huge fan of his mentor and watches every single one of his matches. Apart from that, Majedovic always makes sure to get a picture with the legend anytime he drops by his tennis center in Belgrade. Majedovic expressed that quote, it's always an honor whenever he calls him. For his next steps, Hamad hopes that he can qualify for the US Open, which is the last Grand Slam of this season. That seems to be his main goal for now. We wish the young tennis player all the best, although we don't think he really needs it since he has Djokovic cheering for him. But now, let's take a look at where Djokovic Djokovic's own career is headed. The former number one tennis player in the world, who's won about 21 Grand Slam titles, has been receiving quite a lot of negative press lately, and it's all due to his decision to remain unvaccinated for COVID-19. This decision of the 35-year-old tennis star caused a major ruckus last year ahead of the Australian Open, as he hadn't gotten vaccinated and applied for a special visa that would enable him to enter Australia without getting the jab. But that didn't go as planned, and Djokovic was deported from the country and had to miss the tournament. Even though he won Wimbledon recently, his chances of playing at this year's US Open look quite slim. Non-Americans entering US soil have to get vaccinated for COVID-19 as per the recent rules. Despite many urging President Joe Biden to lift this restriction, it seems it won't be changed anytime sooner. He had to withdraw from other tennis tournaments held in the US and also one in Montreal because of Canada's restrictions. The 35-year-old has shared on his Instagram that he's training for the US Open but 
we don't think that training will come in handy since he won't really get to play in the tournament. And now, let's look at who's come to the Serb's support during all this. While Novak's unvaccinated status has been up for debate, he has gained support from many important figures in his life. In a recent spat on Twitter, his wife Yelena defended her husband and his decision. A sports magazine known as Racket Magazine responded to the Serb's decision to pull out of the tennis tournament in Montreal. They tweeted their confusion of why Novak keeps entering tournaments expecting the rules to change for him. Well, that tweet somehow reached Yelena Djokovic, who was quite disappointed by the magazine's claim. She questioned whether Racket Magazine was even a real tennis magazine, since it was taking such a biased stance on the issue. She even tagged ATP Tour and their publicist with a series of emojis expressing her shock and confusion. The magazine was quick to hit back with a response to her. They repeated that they'd love to watch Novak play just as long as he could follow the rules. But the spat wasn't over yet. Yelena hit back, claiming that the former number one player's entry in the tournament is automatic because of his ranking. She questioned the logic of the earlier tweet by Racket Magazine. The magazine finally responded with a lengthy explanation, stating that he should withdraw from all the tournaments he's automatically gained entry into and not disrupt the tennis world with news of him withdrawing from tournaments. Ouch. That one hurt. Apart from Yelena, who else came to his defense? With his decision to stay unvaccinated, he has definitely picked a hard battle, and it only grew intense as the U.S. Open came by, with many wondering if the Serb will get to play on a special visa or not. Recently, Djokovic's current coach, Gorni Venezvic, came to back him over the matter. He called these travel restrictions placed on the player nonsense. When asked if he'd be competing in the U.S. Open, Ivanovic was less hopeful that he might since there are only two weeks left. He also claimed that he himself had a better chance at winning the U.S. Open than Djokovic did, so his coach was nothing but bitter and sad about the whole situation. He's also worried about how, quote, tough and sad it's been for his player ever since his deportation from Australia happened. Apart from his coach, some of his peers in tennis have also come to his support. Australian player John Millman tweeted about his eventual absence from the U.S. Open. He claimed that while he himself was down with the virus, he could see how not a lot of people were following the rules and guidelines given by the U.S. government. So he wondered why the Serb wasn't getting permission to enter the country like the others were. Last year, during the Australian Open fiasco, many players came out to support the Serbian player. American football quarterback Tom Brady and tennis legend Venus Williams were amongst the big names that voiced their support for Djokovic. Well, let's see if history is going to repeat itself with the U.S. Open drawing near. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Novak's decision to mentor Hamad? Could Hamad be the next Djokovic in the making? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.